Hello everybody. Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? I'm recording on my tablet. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I want to read to you a devotional. And this devotional is entitled, Our Greatest Gift. I'll be reading from my Bible, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. And you made, oh, man. and and you he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved, and raised us up together, and made us sift sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are the for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ooh, amen. Uh, yeah, that's it for the Bible reading, now the devotional. What do you consider your most prized possession? If it's anything material or physical, it won't bring lasting satisfaction. Why else do so many people keep trading up and racing to have better and more? In their quest for this world's goods, a lot of people overlook the most valuable asset of all, faith. And faith is a gift from the Lord, not something we can work for. To, to obtain. We're saved only by God's grace through faith in the work of Christ on our behalf. On the cross, Jesus bore the punishment that we deserve, and he gives eternal life to all who trust him. Without faith, we would have nothing of lasting value. Then all would be lost at death, leaving us to face eternal punishment away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Have you received God's great gift? If not, won't you place your trust in the Savior today? When you acknowledge Jesus as, your, as Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Ooh. Amen. All right, that's it for the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. And until I read to you again, God bless you all, and goodbye.